Where do we want to go? What do we want to do with this time? Time to explore Saint Tropez. Oh, he's got it. Today, guys. Twenty-seven. Very hot. Twenty-seven. And it's a fun one, I think. We're having a really good day out. Not just a day, actually. Like afternoon, going into evening, some us time, which is extremely rare. Like it's took us a little while for this to sink in that it's real, isn't it? Mm. The kids are both on a school trip at the same time. They've both gone to different parts but they're away at the same time what are the chances of that oh baby so they're away for a few days actually um it's nancy's first staying over trip it'll be seth's second so we've known that this is coming up for a while but we've not actually booked anything or decided what we wanted to do with these few days ryan made sure that he had them off work and yeah my priority was just getting the kids packed up and off i couldn't actually think about like anything else until that were done so we did that yesterday and um then i like relaxed a bit and thought hmm Hmm, didn't we? Hmm. Where do we want to go? What do we want to do with this time? So we're going to Saint Tropez, basically. Woo that was the end decision for today. We was like, oh, man and orange. Should we go to Nice? But then we go to Nice a lot. Should we go to Monaco? That's for another day. I thought, do you know what? I want to go to Saint Tropez because it's been a while All right, boys. since we went to Saint Tropez properly because the last time we went, it was all pretty much shut with the pandemic and stuff, so... Yeah, we've now, never ever done it properly, have we? Yeah, we have before, but not whilst we... I don't think we lived here at the time. And we, we didn't have... Holiday, we had the kids. Didn't we? we had the kids with us, didn't No, we? no, I've done it with you before, I'm sure. Really? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure we dragged the kids around as well. Maybe we did. Today we're going to... Wee! Rosie! This, this ain't gonna be one of my healthiest vlogs today, you know. Yeah, we're going for a good drink, basically. How often do we do that? I think in the whole time that we've lived here, we've never actually had... Obviously, we've done some amazing stuff. We've had the privilege of having the kids at school and then going off and exploring for the day, but we've always known that we've got to be back for school pickup, so we've never completely relaxed. Whereas today, we're completely relaxing. Oh, we? yeah. So what do you think? Sound good? I'm excited. Gorgeous weather. We've got a really good week of weather this week. I think it's hot nearly every day. The dogs are safe at home. We've got another little temporary family member as well that I need to update you on. Rice brother's staying with us at the moment. So when he's back from work, he's gonna make sure they're all sorted and fed and looked after and um, no responsibilities basically. It's all about us today. It's all, all about, about us. us. Me and you. You and I. Somehow. It feels, even though we live here, as soon as we enter this place, it feels like holiday. You see everybody doing more holiday stuff than usual and it's got such a clean, chic feel to it. It's really special, isn't it? We've also been refreshing our memories 
Um, and we have stayed in Port Grimard. That's where we stayed, isn't it? I'm sorry, darling. Uh, Port Grimo. Port Grimo. Yes. Port Grimo, Grimard, whatever. Yeah, we've stayed there anyway. We've stayed at Port Grimard for. Um, <laughs> you said it good. Quite some weeks, didn't we? We did. It's like a, a mini Venice. Really cute that place, actually, wasn't it? Yeah, Loads of little coloured houses. It's got a beach on there. A really good security. Loved Port Grimard, didn't we? <laughs> we did. check-in the room's not quite ready but we've just left our bags we got this hotel last night very last minute Airbnb. absolute bargain price I mean we've not seen the room yet but the outside looks beautiful and it's right in the center of Saint-Tropez so I'll leave all the details below and hopefully a little bit later I'll give you a room tour but look at this look at the little breakfast area all the cute tassel brollies, little setup sofas over there, just gorgeous settings. And the hotel is just in there, so give you another look later. Time to explore Saint Tropez. Look at this, I've got to show you this because I've got absolute inspiration from this for the front of the garden when we get round to doing the front of the garden. All they've planted is white roses everywhere. How effective is that? I would never think of that on my own, but now I've seen it, I just think, wow, plant a full bed of white roses and topiaries. And then that way I might not kill them either because they're quite easy to look after. But what are we thinking? I've seen it in a few places in Saint-Tropez. So dreamy. Iconic picture spot. Everybody getting the shots for the gram on this flower wall. Get the selfies. Love it. Look at this shop, guys. They've got one of these in Cannes and they do all the matching father and son swim shorts. You definitely need to get some of them with Seth. I love it. They've got all different um, patterns and colours. Look at them, how cute. Twinning with the window. Snap. <laughs> How's your burger then? Good. Yeah. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Artichoke salad for me. Lovely. I love a bit of that cheese. We've been for our first drink and food just to get ourselves ready. We went to, we've been to it before actually, it's the sports, sports um, bar, sporting bar. Sporting bar on the front. And last time we came and went there, it was in and out of COVID time. So the only traffic that was coming through on the main road was all the lovely sports cars and everything. It was quite nice to watch, weren't it? Whereas this time, everybody's back to work. So there was a lot of lorries, lot dump of lorries. trucks. Vans. Just constant, it was really noisy. So the next place we're gonna go is probably the seafront. So it's just a bit more nice there. As predicted as well, I have changed out the espadrilles 
now into flat sandals. It was a lovely idea, but uh, didn't last long, did it? No. It's quite cobbly streets in places, in most of the Riviera actually, and the fashion is pretty much floaty, pretty dress and flats, whether that be trainers, converse, leather sandals, flip-flops, just flats, pretty dress for ladies is the style really, isn't it? We, oui, we, oui, madam. Look over here, they've done the um, white rose garden again and I'm liking it. The other one was better, but this is the same kind of look. No doubt about it, that's what we're doing in the front garden, right, do you think? Mm, Are you feeling wait. it? Are you feeling it like I am though? What a vibe. Come, come, come. It's the original country <laughs> PCM. Look how thick the custard is. Amazing, it's been a while since we had one of them, isn't it? Mm. That is our ultimate favourite hood from the Boulangerie, the original. Tarch PZN custard slice. Mm -mm. It is. What's the story behind it? Bridget Bardot named it or something, didn't she? Is it Bridget Bardot? Yeah. Yeah. Bridget. Yeah, Bridget Bardot named mm -hmm. it. I think it was her favourite. Yes, it was. That's yeah. great. Look how thick that custard is, though. Just, just look at it. Shall I get a slice just in case? Do you want one? Do mm. you? Yeah. He's got it. Oh, he's got it. Oh, he's got a slice of the original oh, PZN. Oh my gosh, how is it? It's been a while, hasn't it? I've got a good light custard bit more. Oh my gosh, let's just have a little close up of how amazing they are. Iconic. Iconic. I hope you're sharing that with me. Even got a nice little Dior pillow there. Oh, I didn't How lovely! That. I didn't even know what's that. Look at that. You know you can take these with you. No, you can't. <laughs> Buy a drink, uh, cushion free. Now we're swerving the dumper trucks, and we thought we'd come for a nice little drink it in the really Dior quiet, cafe. Yeah. yeah, we've been here before, but we came with the kids, mm. and I had coffee last time, yes, and I ordered a couple of macaroons, and they ate them all. Can you remember? Yeah. <laughs> Whereas this time, child free, having a nice alcoholic drink. You really can't come to the old Very cafe pretty here. Yeah. You? Well, you can, we did, but not the same. And they've got the beautiful building behind with the double staircase. Just amazing. Mm, very Modern nice. Drink. Ryan chose mine. Romantic champagne, apparently. What did you get? I got a uh, irresistible tequila. Oh, they're the bamboo straws as well. The kids mm. nicked them last time, <laughs> didn't they? <laughs> Not really, because you pay for them, don't you? Yeah, I don't think they... I don't know. I wonder if this is an edible flower. <gasps> don't do that. Why? Jeez. Don't be. eat the flower. No. You've had enough today, <laughs> you. Gulper. I ain't even admit... I ain't even finished. No? I haven't even, even started, you I've mean? only just started. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. Some 
drink it balls. <laughs> Everybody's holidaying again, it's all good. And I forgot how beautiful this place was, it's like, let me explain it, right? I think I've worked out how they do the depo through the entire place, more or less. So they go for smooth render on the buildings instead of grainy render. You know, it's more smooth. They always use like the chalk paints in pastels that complement each other. Which I colour combinations um, so it's like dusty pastely that kind of vibe like French but you know more clean and minimalistic and then once they've got the colour combination right and the sheer clean look then they go and stick some texture on it like rattan or floral flowers display mm. or something like that so it's like a clean dusty background with that which is what I like for the house yeah getting all the inspo while I'm here so we're gonna have white roses planted in front of the garden aren't we yes we are. yes that's what I'm thinking when we finally get round to the jungle and yeah a big old white rose patch a white rose patch with a few topers they did have a rose patch there before but it seems well so what time are we on anyway? How's um, the day going? It's five to six. Five to six. Mm -hmm. I think we should eat at around... 9pm. Yeah, we're not getting changed. We were thinking about packing two outfits and coming and getting changed and all that. And we didn't get here till, what, half 12, one o'clock? Yes, and we well. thought, let's just turn it into a daytime going into evening. Mm -hmm. I said with we might end up at a club and then it was like, will we? Will we though? Mm. Probably not. It's been a while. It's been a while since we've been doing a nightclub. Yeah. I don't think we've stayed up past midnight much in the last four years. <laughs> no, but I like that. I like going to bed early. We have to get up early. We've made a bit of a blunder. We've just remembered something, haven't we? What we should have done on this vlog. It's only something small, but it's actually quite important. We should have done a cheers every time we got a drink in a different bar. Mm. And we've not done it. So we're just going to start from now and see how it goes, aren't we? <laughs> joking and you but look amazing it's absolutely Gorgeous. beautiful isn't it? golden hour on the harbour and we're actually deciding on restaurant right so so we usually we made this mistake the other week in Cannes we walk along we check the vibe of the people who sat there what looks busy and that's what entices us into a restaurant but do you look at the menu and make your own judgment? Or do you look at the people and how busy the restaurant is? Like what gets you in there? Because we did this with the Lebanese restaurant the other week. There was two side by side in Cannes and we chose the busier one. The one where there was more people. But we don't normally do that. Yeah, the one where the, the staff looked a bit more presentable, we went purely on aesthetics mm. and then as we were sat eating we noticed that the one next door where it didn't look so aesthetically pleasing actually the food looked equally as good if not better and cheaper and half the price yeah so we yeah. definitely judged a book by its cover so uh, we don't want to make the same mistake tonight do we absolutely not but that restaurant there 
looks fantastic. Which? From the outside. Lippy to blush. Yeah, but you're doing the same, you're doing the book by its cover. I know, but it's got like sand on the floor. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You don't eat the sand, mate, do you? We've walked over to the front and found this little, cute, tucked away pizza restaurant. Well, not just any pizza, they make the pizzas from, explain. Uh, from soya. From soya flour. And soya flour, yeah. So basically more... Easily digestible, apparently. Easily digestible. This is, this is how the lady was selling it to us. She said it's very good for the stomach. Ah. Uh, yeah, pizza. it's like, it's wheat, it's wheat free, it's wheat free. Oh, yeah. Gluten free. So I thought we'll have a little snack first, just to put us on for a little bit until we decide on. Very good. Ooh, what we got then? What's we this? Dip in the bottom. Lovely. Madam. Oh, thank you. Merci. Kind of problem. Yeah, look. Look how cute it is. Everyone is having these like soya, soya flour pizzas. So we've just ordered a little pizza to share. We've got the lady there. She's being very polite. She's not going to watch us eating and drinking. The restaurant is called because that would help, wouldn't it? It's on the front. Uh, the front says in like the main road, and it's called Hotel Le Pommier. Hotel Le Pommier. Oh, here she comes with the pizza. Here we go. Ah. Oh, yes. Yes. There we go. Look at that. Bigger than I thought. Yeah, this is supposed to be a little star. Get the chili oil on there. Oh, look at that. That is naughty. Very naughty. Yes. Cheers. <laughs> Just what we needed, isn't it? Mm, that is a starter. That's beautiful. Absolutely amazing, that pizza. Wow. I mean, you can tell it's not made out of. It's really nice. Crispy. Yeah, the base is different, isn't it? Mm. Lighter and crispy. Yeah, it's not as a. Mmm. Such a good pizza. That is so good. Listen, oh. you ever in the area, Santa Fe, get yourself to. Hotel Le Palmier on a night time, a nice bottle of minuti mm. and a pizza. This is Phenomenal. a very, very big title, right? But I know I've had some drinks and everything tastes so much more amazing when you've had a drink, like it just does, doesn't it? Like, <laughs> but that was the best pizza I have ever had. It was good. It wasn't about the taste or too much. I've got some here. Yeah, it was about the taste one. No, no, it's the texture. For me. The dough, it was amazing. They said they did something different to the dough that made it more mm. digestible, more easy made on from the stomach. Soya. Oh, it was amazing. That was such a good call. Now we're not so like ravenous. We can go and choose a restaurant sensibly. I'm thinking. Um, I'm thinking oysters. You're thinking seafood. Yeah, you see, we couldn't have gone for seafood because we were so starving. Seafood just wouldn't cut it, whereas no. now we've had the little piece of a starter. Seafood sounds good, so. amazing day back to the room thought I'd give you a very little and it is very little room tour now we booked this late last night on Airbnb it was an absolute bargain 140 euros and we've basically got a bed and a little bathroom so rise in the toilet so I can't show you that but honestly it's just literally a toilet and a shower and a sink and then here we go excuse the mess we've got a bed Got a bedside table, got another bedside table, a light, a light, corner table just here. I think the view is the best bit, unfortunately you can't see out there at the minute because it's dark but that's where all the little table setup is with the little tasseled umbrellas. All we needed for tonight, absolute bargain, we've had a great day. Good morning everyone! Bonjour! We've had a lovely Trop. breakfast, so noisy, 
I'm sorry, I can't escape the noise. We had a lovely breakfast in the hotel this morning. Didn't vlog much because everybody's enjoying the brekkie, you know. Um, and then we've made a bit of a mistake. We set off walking down to the beach and completely forgot that there's no beach no in the centre of Saint Tropez. It's just the harbour. Uh, so what we're going to do is go back, get the car, drive a little bit down on the way home, pull over to the nearest beach stop because Vi wants a swim and I'm going to have a little sit down and sunbathe, you know, why not? Just walking past the Chanel Villa, have to show you this one, beautiful building and it goes right through to the back, they've got like a big pool area in the back and then they've got an extra little building with all the shoes in there. Fab. Not going in there today anyway, honey, are we? No. <laughs> oh. Chilly? That's really chilly. You're not wanting to go for a swim now? I thought you was a triathlete. I am. Being a bit nesh. Well, I'm not anymore. For you. On a break, aren't I? So. He's having a little break from triathlon now after the last race. Alright, little Just break. Concentrating on work, work and bits like that. What was your words? Just spreading yourself a little bit thin. Yeah, spreading myself a little bit thin. Being a jack of all and a master of none. Give up. Well, it is. Where shall we set up? It looks a bit lumpy. Set up. Ready for my first sunbathe of 2022 official one mm. i've been wearing tops and stuff and starting to get tan lines now so got to get rid of them you know oh god are you not swimming yeah i will be in a minute i'm just having a minute first i'm gonna get some uh, cream on it's actually quite oh not red eyes some cream recommendations if you've got sensitive skin like me, I've got sensitive skin on my face and uh, I asked the lady in the pharmacy which is the best facial sun protection and she said this one so I've been using this and I love it, it's very nice, it's the Skin Suticals Factor 50 and it just sinks in nicely, I put that under my makeup. I put on though, I do moisturize first this is a fab product if you come into france this year and you want a good moisturizer for sensitive skin this was recommended by a um french doctor youtuber and it's fab so use that morning and night put that on top ryan likes this on his face but it's a little bit too perfumey for my face but i do love the smell so i just use that one here and a bit on the arms just to get the scent and that's me um, little sunscreen recommendations I can't see because it's very sunny I think it's about time to end this vlog I feel like it's been a long one it certainly has but thanks for um, tagging along and coming to San Tropez with us it's been fabulous see you all soon don't forget to subscribe love yas <laughs> Bye.